I figured as much. Oh, what, so I look like I don't own a piano? Huh? I'm just kidding. I'm Lewis. Technically, I'm the hotel's resident comedian. Uh -huh. I wasn't meant to be funny. Oh, okay. Play something for Elise. Too complicated. Play something. I can't get no satisfaction. Not my department. Play something. A la 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 long. That was long enough. Play something. They're taking the Larrys to Isengard. Silence, you fool. Play something. The Llama Song. I like alpacas better. Hey, me. Play something. I want your sex. And I want out of here. Play something. Take my breath away. A song about your halitosis? Play something. Like a virgin. Yeah, you look like one. Hey, I already had sex today. That's what I always say, too. Play something. Dirtier. By the Christy Ogilera. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Play something. Come on, Eileen. By Pixie's Midnight Streakers. Oh, come on. Play something. Never gonna give you up. You really don't give up. Play something. Shitstorm. By the road. Isn't it by the shitty Beatles? Play something. Pour some sugar on me by Decaf Leopard. Sugar is bad for you, and it's sticky. Play something. The Bum Jovi version of Love Hurts. Do I look jovial to you? Play something. California Creamin by the Moo Moo's and the Pee Pee's. I hate California. Play something. Sexophone. I don't blow anything. Play something. Sexophone. I don't blow anything. Play something. Sexophone. I don't. So you're actually a comedian? Got it in one. What's your stage name? Lewis. But that's your real name. Yep. Pretty slick, huh? Are you famous? Hey, I had my own TV show once. You did? Okay, it was on the public access channel in a small town in Pennsylvania. But it had its fans, and the jail time had nothing to do with what I said about the man. Tell me a joke. Not now. I gotta finish my shift at the piano first. Didn't they have a pianist here? He got shot. Where and when do you perform here? My award-winning comedy show is on later. Over there in the ballroom where the buffet is now. You really don't want to miss it. The absolute highlight of the evening. I'll be there. Enough laughing already. Do you enjoy working here? Nah, I wish I could have stayed in New Lost Wages. I was a big deal there. Then why are you here? Political correctness. You can't say anything these days. No one has a sense of humor anymore. You can't even entertain young women from the audience naked in your dressing room. What? Then they tell you that kind of thing is inappropriate, and then chase you out of town. Now I have to start all over again. You don't sweat much for a fat dude. In this sweltering heat, I do. Nobody here knows how to adjust the air conditioning. I have to figure it out myself. I have to get going. Uh, yes, yes. Can you turn on the air conditioning? I would, but something's wrong with the electronic controls. Can't you fix it? Do I look like the kind of guy who should be allowed near a power line? Excellent point. I want to know something about you. What? 
How did you end up here on the island? To be perfectly honest, I don't really remember. I was a waiter on a cruise ship. It ran into a storm. I just wanted to go out for a quick smoke. Then everything got wet, and I woke up on this beach. Luckily, Bobby was looking for a new bellhop. What happened to the last one? Oh, I reckon that tribe of cannibals got him. Cannibals? Not funny at all. Can you carry my luggage? What luggage? Good point. But enough about you. What kind of people do you have staying here at the moment? Oh, they're all kind of weird. I try to stay away from them. But you're the bellhop! Yeah, that makes it a little awkward. We got one of those influencers here right now. She's terrible. She's always wanting free stuff. Wouldn't give me a tip, but she said she'd do an Instacrap story on me, and that would make me famous. Ugh. Who else works here? Uh, Lewis, mainly. He thinks he's a comedian. He may have been a big shot once and lost wages, but then he made jokes about a group that got outraged. Have you seen a woman named Faith around here? Huh? Well, who's that supposed to be? A beautiful woman. That doesn't really help me now either. Can you describe her in a little more detail? Sure. So, uh, she... She's tall and slender and... Okay. Her eyes are... Uh, green? Mm. Her hair is... Short and blonde. Let me think. What was she wearing? Mm. A tight purple dress. Well, the way you describe her... Nope, doesn't ring any bells, sorry. What? You didn't describe her properly either, Larry. You really should have known that. I think that's asking a bit much of me. I still know what she looked like. That's not fair. You have a camera. Have you seen a woman named Faith around here? Huh? Well, who's that supposed to be? She probably asked for Larry. No one has ever done that here. Damn. Have you seen a woman named Faith around here? Huh? Well, who's that supposed to be? A beautiful woman. That doesn't really help me now either. Can you describe her in a little more detail? Sure. So, uh, she... She's tall and slender and... Okay. Her eyes are... Blue. Mm. Her hair is... What was that again? You could have looked a little higher. How typical. You really should have known that. I think that's asking a bit much of me. I still know what she looked like. That's not fair. You have a camera. Have you seen a woman named... Huh? A beautiful woman. That doesn't really help me now either. Can you describe her in a little more detail? Sure. So, uh, she... Tall and slender and... Okay. Her eyes are... Brown? Mm. Her hair is... Short and blonde. Let me think. What was she wearing? A 
a tight purple dress. Well, the way you describe her... Nope, doesn't ring any bells, sorry. What? You didn't describe her properly either, Larry. You really should have known that. I think that's asking a bit much of me. I still know what she looked like. That's not fair. You have a camera. Have you seen a woman named Faith around here? Huh? Well, who's that supposed to be? A beautiful woman. That doesn't really help me now either. Can you describe her in a little more detail? Sure. So, uh, she... She's tall and slender and... Okay. Her eyes are... Blue. Mm. Her hair is short and blonde. Let me think. What was she wearing? Mm. A tight purple dress. Well, the way you describe her. Oh, right. I remember her. Where is she? She was totally confused. She just up and disappeared. And you have no idea what happened to her? Nope. Honestly, no idea. A lot of people just disappear around here. I'll just be going now. Hey, that's my raft. That's junk, and it's going to be recycled. because you can't seem to throw anything away. All you have to do is throw it in the ocean and it'll float away. Practical. Are you trying to provoke me? Hmm. <laughs> do you find me provocative? Not at all. You may be too young for it, but you seem a lot like one of those guys who's responsible for the state the world is in. Guys in leisure suits? What's a leisure suit? Well, this is one. Looks more like a wedding suit. Don't remind me. What did you do to my raft? Your what? There, in that net. Wait, you threw that piece of junk in the water? That's not junk. That's outstanding engineering. I already complained to Governor Marley about that. She wanted to find the culprit and hit him with a heavy fine. So it was you. Don't worry, she already found me. And man, did she find me. <laughs> now give me back my raft. Not a chance. I will not allow this raft to deface these beautiful waters again. I could actually hear the quotation marks. What are you doing here anyway? I am an environmental activist. Wherever nature gets polluted, I am there to save it. And that just coincidentally happens to be the nature on a tropical island? You see the kind of junk people throw in the water here? Stop calling my beautiful raft a piece of junk. Never! How'd you find my raft so quickly? I've placed sensors all over Kahlua. Water temperature, wind, pH values, solar radiation. I can monitor everything here from my control center in real time. Plus, I've set up a few cameras on the island. Sounds like you don't miss much. I never sleep. I comb the beach with a metal detector. The things I find there, some people even just bury their old consumer electronics. What monsters? I want to report some serious pollution. What? Where? There's a guy driving around in an SUV on the other side of the island. Well, I can't save the whole world. Right now, I'm only taking care of this part of the island. That's a double standard. 
No, it's pragmatism. Someone at the hotel has a plastic bag. That is a structural problem in our society, and the government has to step up to the plate. So now it's suddenly the government's responsibility. That's what I said. <laughs> Someone swimming naked down at the beach. That's not pollution. It is visually. Besides, they might be in it. Oh, I've got bigger threats to the environment to deal with. I made a mistake. Everything's clean. Have you, by any chance, seen a pretty blonde anywhere? I try to avoid people as much as possible. I try to avoid people as much as possible. Her name is Faith. Ring any bells? No. Ah, uh, I have to be going. Can I have the magnet? Sure. Now that I have my metal detector, I don't need it anymore. It's locked up nice and tight. Oh! You want to dispose of that properly. Thanks! Just be sure to put them in a lockable container. Otherwise, some poor animal might get caught in it. Better not. I might mess something up. look kind of familiar. Yeah, absolutely, man. We've met before. Ah, I was wondering. At least once in a previous life, for sure. I mean, the universe has a plan. Uh, what's your name? I'm Pip, man. Yeah, for sure, man. I hear you, man. Your name wouldn't happen to be Kip, would it? Hey, do I look that stressed out or what? I really gotta do something about that. Oh no, that'd be stressed too. I'm Pip. Kip is my twin brother. Total drag. All he thinks about is his career. How do you get so relaxed? You gotta smoke the right stuff. Smoking is bad for your health. I'm telling you, man, you gotta smoke the right stuff. Anyway, I can live without it, thanks. Your loss. I got a split, man. Peace, yo. Go ahead, take one, Larry, as a reward for the union of our flesh earlier. Wow, thanks. Everything you need for a hearty hangover breakfast. Can I have some of that? I think I'm gonna have a hangover soon too. Help yourself. Hey, Bobby. What's up, Larry? So, uh, how about it, huh? <laughs> Ready for a little more Larry loving? Not now. I just ate. But don't go too far away. I'm pretty spontaneous, as far as that's concerned. You know, I noticed that. How am I supposed to pay off the fine now? Come up with the money. 
and you're a free man. But I don't have that much money, and I have to get off the island. Tough luck, Larry. There aren't any other ships sailing the area at the moment, either. Hardly anyone has dropped anchor here since that whole debacle with the festival. The what? Some guy showed up on the island a couple of weeks ago, said he wanted to change things. He had a ton of ideas on how to make this island the biggest attraction in the South Seas. Good idea. But he said he needed to attract a target group that would otherwise never see the light of day. Some sci-fi nerds. He called it a galactic festival. <laughs> what a loser. I should have known that wouldn't work. Didn't he order enough junk food? More like too much. We had to feed it to the dolphins. They just sort of floated around the bay for days with bad gas. No, if that was all it had been. He brought all kinds of influencers, big and small, to the island. Promised them a unique, exotic, galactic festival. But he managed to totally screw it all up. No decent tents. Not enough beds, rotten food, adulterated booze. When all the influencers got here, they thought that they would be seeing hit bands and big stars. But then there were only actors from some cheesy, low-budget movies. Who would ever have suspected that a supporting actor from Orangu Raptor versus Murano just wouldn't be that exciting? And that's when the rioting started. At least the tents didn't burn that long. The next day, everyone was evacuated, except for this one influencer a travel blogger. Now she's complaining about everything and, and really ruining the hotel's reputation. She only gave us two stars on Gulp and that is affecting our bookings. I don't know what her problem is, but I can't kick her out either because she insists on getting everything this guy promised her at the festival. If I ever get my hands on him again. Who was it? The guy who ran that tech company, BJ. Oh. You know him. Never heard of him. Well. If you do run into him, ignore his ideas. Thanks. I'll definitely keep that in mind. If you can take care of that travel blogger, we're even. Just make sure she gives us the full five stars on Gulp. Right. I'll take care of it. How do I get my raft back? I don't care. Emma takes care of all the junk that washes up here. I have to leave this island. Maybe you'll just disappear without a trace, like many of the other guests. What? Uh, I mean, once you get settled in, you'll never want to leave again. Can I go into Faith's hotel room? What do you want to go in there for? I want to find out what happened to her. Okay. <laughs> You seem to have quite an interest in her. I, I don't have time to deal with stuff like that. Ask Kip, the guy in the lobby. Thanks. I have to be going. Yes, yes. Bobby told me to ask you if I could go into Faith's room. Sure. I mean, seeing as how you know this Faith chick so well. Sure thing. Then go ahead. I'm sure it's okay. I think so, too. Room 404. The elevator will take you up there. Thanks. I'll just be going now. How did you rate the hotel on Gulp? Only two out of five stars. Why? The pool water is ugh. It's filthy and stinks. I can't lounge in the water if they can't even see my body. It should be tropical blue and smell fresh. And the buffet is disgusting. Full of meat and stuff? I need organic vegan food that keeps me balanced. What will my community think if they see me eating dead animals? And the bar has water and non-alcoholic whiskey. Ugh! How am I supposed to take a selfie with one of those? I look like some kind of caveman. I need a super colorful, impressive cocktail. One that's totally selfie suitable. I mean, I'd give another star just for that. Otherwise, my authenticity as an influencer would be ruined. Should I get you something to drink now? No! 
I have to go influence somewhere else now. There's nothing there to take. Say, what's the deal with that box? It's the key to the toilet in the jungle. And where's the key now? I lost it on the beach somewhere. Where exactly? Somewhere down by the rosy palms. There aren't any rosy palms. Then I don't remember. By any chance find a key somewhere near the hotel, did you? Yes, I have. How exactly? On one of my patrols with the metal detector. I was going to take it back to the governor. Oh, I can do that for you. I'm going back to the hotel anyway. That would be great. Here. Ah, uh, I have to be going. Hello? Occupied. I gotta go. It's urgent. Are you a monster? I am the spirit of perpetual affirmation. Oh, no. Ah, uh, are you gonna be out soon? I'm still outside. The year is 2020 AD. Alas, the skies are green with plutonium. Interest rates are doubling annually. The world has become weird and bizarre. Look. Down there, the island. I'm up here with the birds. <laughs> birds? Cheerio. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. I can stop whenever I want. Are you sure? At any rate, I can't leave until the monster's gone. You can come out. It's just me out here. You could be the monster in disguise. I can't take the chance. Besides, the colors are so beautiful here in this villa. You're in a toilet. It's bigger on the inside. Are you sure you're okay? Who are you anyway? Clyde, don't tell my brother I'm here. Otherwise, he'll want the pills back. Who's your brother? Kip, the bellhop. He's a jerk. Your secret's safe with me. Then I'll stop bothering you. You sound pretty far gone already. Hello? Hmm. Looks like no one's in there. But it's locked. It fits. Okay, let's see. I just went. Maybe later. I just went. Maybe later. I just went. Maybe later. That's out of my reach. Somehow he looks pretty horny. The ducky fits perfectly. Like all it needs now is a partner in there. I'm not straightening that out. I'll hang that up there.
<laughs> Did you see that pie? That horny cock actually fell for the sexy rubber ducky. Forgot absolutely everything around him and just blindly threw himself on it. What a cock. Indeed. Nothing like that could ever happen to you, Larry. Of course not. I just went. Maybe later. Then uh, I'll just go on in. This is where I found that yellow liquid. I'm not straightening that out. Hello? Occupied. Then I'll stop bothering. Sound pretty far gone already. Water treatment plant seems to lead to the hotel. I should try the opening. The water is just like me. It needs a little color. Could make everything smell a bit better. You know you're in trouble when the only big thing you have is your trombone. Hey, there's something sparkling in the water. I managed to fish out a quarter, but then the magnet fell in. This is her room. How can you be so sure? Do you recognize something? No, it's her scent. Unmistakably. I hope they never install all factory sensors in me. I'd better leave that here.
Now I'm a gold member. Should I take these? You've had more than enough of Faith's underwear in your hands. I'll take that. I found this in Faith's hotel room. It says something about a festival that was held here. The Pyre Festival brings you the biggest stars of film, internet, and music of our time and a never-ending party experience. Sensual pleasures and the coolest people await you in an exotic archipelago. Legends also tell of a cave containing all of the knowledge in the cosmos. A galactic festival awaits you. An information brochure about the island. Here are some boring facts about the archipelago's history. Lots of nice photos that seem to be pretty old. And some information about the flora here. A rare, highly bioluminescent fungus, which greatly reduces the heart rate when you eat it, grows somewhere here in the archipelago. It seems the orchids here are all pretty poisonous. Only one species, with a single blue flower and pointed leaves, doesn't kill you the moment you touch it. I don't even want to know what kind of dangerous animals they have here. Not my fetish. That's nice, <laughs> but I don't need it. I'd better leave the plants alone. Like I always say, <laughs> you can never have too much seed. Just ate my money, you stupid machine. One day people were a bell against the machines. What's wrong, Larry? Oh, nothing. I'm not gonna shake it or kick it. Even drink machines deserve respect. No, I prefer to stay on the observation deck. You have to put coins in there. It costs a dollar. The pool water's now clean. Sweet! Now I can finally get my bikini out and dive in. Maybe uh, <clears throat> you shouldn't duck your head under the water. <laughs> Never. Think of my hairstyle. The only thing I let touch my bun is olive oil that was cold pressed by Andean dwarf goats. I'll give them an extra point on gulp for that. I have to go influence somewhere else now.
a meat fork. Don't leave home without it. When you bite into that, you have to be afraid of getting bitten yourself. Cruddy crud. The buffet seems like a good nutrient base for the seeds. That's growing like a weed. Real organic fertilizer. I have to go. So let's see. Fly free, you swine. Is that your way of looking after animals? That's the jungle out there. I'm sure it'll land softly. And the sea is over that way, too. Uh, say, can pigs actually swim? is now completely vegan. Yay! About time. I almost starved to death. You should eat small portions. Well, duh. Because of my intermittent fasting. I'm also doing a trigger warning for my followers from the Plants Are Living Beings community. They always get so cutely indignant when I take a picture of myself in a meadow. Okay, that's one more point on gulp. I have to go influence somewhere else now. 